the years of squatters rights. That's when someone lives in a home likely rent free and has to be kicked out by the courts. Well, the Fox 5 ITM Santa Fe has a street side view into one of the most bizarre cases of trying to evict someone that you'll ever see, Dana. Think bizarre and take it up a few notches. Okay. Uh, this involves a legitimate homeowner, a home for sale, a convicted child sex trafficker. Guess who had the upper hand? It's the kind of tale that makes homeowners and landlords confused about whose side the law is on. This is my home, and there's somebody in there, an intruder in there, intruders and uh, who I do not know. This wooded corner lot in Tucker was for sale, posted as plain as day online for sale, not for rent. On closing day, homeowner Ronan McCabe discovered people, strangers, had moved in and changed the locks. They broke into my house and moved in. All the locks had been changed. Friday, October 20th, Mr. McCabe called Gwinnett County Police. The home had been empty for just a few weeks before it was filled with a stranger's furniture. He says the couple inside told police they had a lease. They have no contract, no agreement with me. Gwinnett County Police are saying that there's nothing that they can do. He was told to go to Magistrate Court the following Monday and file a dispossessory notice, which means going through a lengthy evictions process and a backed up court system to get his own house back. That same day, the man in the house calling himself Raymond Cortez texted that he would leave, but for a price. Dana, that's a shakedown. <laughs> that's a shakedown. Are you kidding me? They want me to pay them to leave my home. That's scandalous. Frustrated and distressed as he now had his house sale on hold, Ronan McCabe called the Fox 5 I team. We met him there, triggering the man from inside the house to text him again. I'm calling the cops. I am with my attorney now drafting up a lawsuit. The house squatter told police earlier that he was a member of the sovereign citizens movement. They don't believe in government, identification, taxes, things like that. But he sure didn't mind calling the authorities to help him stay in a home he didn't own. The Gwinnett PD's third trip was different. Things changed very fast. A woman who told police she was his wife abruptly left. He came out, went back in. Suddenly, U.S. Marshals started flooding the street. It seems they had a parallel investigation. He was a wanted man. After busting down the door and sliding him across a floor covered in water and soap, meant to trip up police, they had him. Ramon Fuertes III. Police and court documents show he's a convicted federal felon with tattoos called Pimpin and used an email address called Young Pimpin 86. He'd been in federal prison for child sex trafficking, accused of prostituting a young teen he called Lollipop. Fuertes was wanted for failing to register as a sex offender after his release. Finally over, right? Nope. The female was back in the home. She hadn't been arrested for anything. I'm asking her to move her stuff out today. You can ask, but it might not pan out. The homeowner would be right back, where we, back where we started. She would need to be evicted. But finally, some good luck. Ronan McCabe got a break, and she was persuaded to go. It's cost this Irishman has been in the United States since the 90s, and he will tell you he loves this country, but finds the rights of squatters simply baffling. America is a fantastic country, and I never, ever, ever thought something like this would happen in America, right? A man's home is his castle. So finally, after this third time, Gwinnett County Police told her if she did not leave, she would be charged with criminal trespass, so she left. She was never charged, though, with moving into a stranger's home, refusing to leave. In fact, she got several hours to get her things out. The house was ultimately sold a few days later, and Mr. McCabe, I want to add, is a U.S. citizen now. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, so all, a lot. Uh, this all went down on camera in one three-hour chunk. Wow. It's crazy. Yeah, that's so wild. Okay, so it took three police visits, though, before she was threatened with arrest. Right. Why? That's the question, isn't it? I mean, the homeowner says the last two officers asked her for um, proof that she was actually a valid renter, and she had none, he said. And, and all the 
utilities were still in his name. The homeowner had his paperwork, showed he owned the home. We've asked Gwinnett Police for comment on this. We haven't heard back, but we are hoping after this story that they can sit down and talk to us about how squatters have so many rights and what changed between the first police visits and that last one. Okay, so, I mean, this could happen to anyone, is, oh, absolutely. is what the, my takeaway is. I mean, how, how can we prevent this from happening? Well, if you have a house for sale or for rent, make sure it looks lived in, or it is lived in. Furniture, cars, in the driveway. Go by regularly to make sure that that for sale or for rent sign is still in the yard. Often, would-be squatters will remove that. Mm. Go inside, check on the home. Um, don't put up a sign, move out, and then not come back for a couple weeks because you might find a surprise. It's infuriating, honestly, to think it can be that easy for someone to be able to do this. It is, yes. yes. I mean, he had the deed. They had no legitimate lease. They had nothing where he had signed it. It was for sale online. I mean, I could just go on and on yeah. about how it was his home and they were strangers and they didn't know each other but they um, they had a lot of rights and he was expected to take this to court which would have stretched this out the person buying the home then had to find a place to live sure. while he or she waited I mean it, it's a domino effect and it costs a lot of people a lot of money absolutely squatters rights yes right. and we are gonna keep digging in on this because I cannot tell you the conversations I've had about this in the last mm -hmm. week, just from friends, people who've seen the pro promos who said, oh my gosh, this happened to us. Oh my gosh, we've had a similar situation. Mm. Wow. Well, yeah. I'm so glad you had the story for us. Yes. Thank and I'm you. glad he got his home Yes, back. absolutely. A resolution to this. Yes. Yeah.